So my name is Maxime Potier and I'm working for, for an organization called Normandie Grand Migrateur. And uh, we are working on several parts of the migratory fish. Um, uh, all, everything in Normandy. Um, we are working with Angling Federation, but also with the government and stuff like that. So first, um, we everybody knows that migratory fish need uh, several ecological requirements, uh, like uh, ecological continuity for sure, but also the a good water temperature, a good water quality, and um, good habitat quality for spawning, for example. Um, they are all species to protect, and they are patrimonial species. Uh, for example, we everybody knows that the European eel is critically endangered, um, and uh, we we also knew that there are. Um, pedagogical support, for example, everybody knows salmon and sea trout, but not a lot of people um, know what 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 kind of species are living in the river. So they could be uh, like good indicators, and uh, they can be used for um, for removal projects. Um, they can help people to understand why we are doing this, because we are not doing this just for migratory fish, but also for all the organism organism in the river. And um, there are also good uh, quick responses to the river restoration works. Um, we have some examples that I will show you, um, which show that when you remove a dam, the first fish uh, we will come up, uh, come again on the river, and those fish are migratory fish. Um, in Occidental Normandy, or the the west part of Normandy, um, we have a very dense river system. Uh, we have like. Uh, 20,000 kilometers of river in uh, in this part of France, and um, there are there is many coastal rivers, um, and in these rivers there is many breeding and feeding habitats for migratory fish, but um, they are those rivers are highly impacted by by dams and wells, um, so the the habitats are not really good anymore, but they can be good. The first monitoring uh, index that I will show you is the Salmon Abundance Index. Um, in this part of Normandy, there is over than 100 monitoring stations on all the, the coastal rivers. Um, this monitoring is realized by the Fishing Federation of Manche. The Manche is this part of Normandy, but they are doing this, uh, this monitoring in all the Normandy rivers. I don't know if you know this part of France, but it's close to Paris. Paris is somewhere here in France. And uh, this uh, monitoring is done by um, from since sorry since 2001. Uh, this protocol um, is uh, done by by electrofishing. This is a 5 minute fishing um, on riffles. Here you have a picture of the of the this kind of prospection. Um, we do like lines like this with the the electrode here and there is two people on the net and uh, one people uh, uh, taking care of smalls, for example. Um, and at the end of the five minutes, using the electrofishing method, uh, we are counting the number of par. Um, we're just counting the young one, the one we were born in, in spring of the, 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 the same year, and uh, we, we, we have an index at the end. So this protocol can show some, some issues, like dams, for example. So this is the the Vezin Dam on the Serene River, um, and other one, but it can also so some um, can also show some uh, some habitats changing um, into still water. As everybody knows, when you put a dam on the flooding water, it turns into still water. So one example here it's the, um, the Arn River, one of the biggest river in Normandy. And there is a small uh, tributary of this river that called the Ver River. It's here, and this is a 25-kilometer-long river classified as important for ecological continuity um, by the law, by the government, and uh, it's in the the priority action zones for European eels. And, and there is a very high potential for uh, salmon spawning in this river. So the EAA's protocol shown um, that there is no salmon in this river here. Um, here is the own river, the first tributary, and the river is here. 
So we can see that there is salmon's bar um, in all the, the, the station around this river, but we never found any pond here in this river. And why? I'm sure that everybody knows. Because of a dam. It's the first dam on the river from the Confluence, and it, it's an absolute barrier for all the species, for salmon, but also for eels, and etc. So in this case, uh, the, this protocol was a really good decision-making tool for a dam removal project. And the works were done in the last year, but unfortunately, we have now found any part this year. Um, it doesn't mean that there were no salmon in the river um, a few months ago, but we, we know that there were an important flood period during the, the spawning uh, of the salmon in this river, so it could be um, um, an answer of this question. But we will see, I'm sure that we will found, find some, some power soon. Another example of a restoration habitat. Here, this is the Sienne River. Uh, this is a river of the Mont Saint-Michel Bay, like the Céline River. And um, in this river, there is a good potential for habitat restoration. Uh, there is many, uh, a few dams on this river. And um, these dams were removed in 2015 by the Fishing Federation again. And we can see here that just after the removal of the dam, the next, uh, the, um, the, um, the year after, uh, many par colonized um, the these habitats, these new habitats, and it's it's it was the the best um, monitoring station on the river. So one year after a removal project, pam, seventy small salmons. So it was a good example to convince partners and other owners to planify um, dam removal, and including on uh, on um, ruined dams or weirs. Another protocol um, in Normandy. Each year we uh, we count the the, the fish nesting. Um, it aims to to estimate the success the success sorry of a migratory fish reproduction and its spatial distribution. Uh, it could highlight some some. Uh, um, problems like dams or habitat quality, but it also can highlight the, the front of colonization of uh, migratory fish on a river. So we count and geolocalize all the nests in the river, uh, for example, in December or January for salmonids, but also in July for sea lampreys. In Normandy, we have, uh, we have five great migratory species. We have the salmon, sea trout, sea lampreys, uh, eels, but also the, um, the Alice shad, the big shad. You can, you can see the, the, the nest on the, the Orne River, the big river in Normandy. And here, this is all the dams on the river. And um, so we, we follow the, the, the nesting uh, of sea lampreys on, uh, on the Orne River since 2009. And we can see here that there is an accumulation of nesting just downstream the dams. Here, here, or here again. And um, this, this kind of graph shows that there is a high impact of dams on, on migration for, for, uh, for sea lampreys, for example. Oh, just one more thing. You can see here, um, this is like uh, fronchy sable obstacles. Difficult one and totally barrier for for migratory fish eel. And uh, one last um, one last um, tool, I would like to say, uh, it's the um, the, the um, upstream migration monitoring. Um, on the Orne River again, the big river, uh, the Atlantic salmon disappeared in the the thirties totally disappeared due to different factors like dams, but also pollution. And uh, since 1997, uh, more than 20, 20 dams were removed by the Fishing Federation and other organization. And since uh, 2010, there is like an acceleration of the dam removal project, you can see it here. And in, in front of this, we are following the, the, upstream, the upstream migration 
since the 90s. So we can see here there is a very strong increase of the populations since we are removing many dams. And um, we can say now that in a few years we will expect then more, more than 1,000 salmon on the river. Thank you. So this is a good tool to evaluate and also promote river uh, restoration projects. Sorry. <laughs> and um, so all, th all these actions, all these dam remo removal projects, uh, open migration axis, but also increasing spawning habitats for all the migratory fish. We have some discussion about this um, this um, monitoring and making tool. Um, there is an importance of un environmental factors. We know that uh, the hydrology uh, can change the results when you are counting the the baby salmon, for example. So we have to take care of that. There is a, a necessity to implement a multi-year monitoring. Each year is different, so we need um, more than one or two years to, to know if a river restoration project uh, was a success or not. We know um, that we need a, a well-known field. We have to know our river. We have to know um, if the river is important for migratory fish. Um, we know that there is a lack in downstream migration. We talked about it um, just before, but um, we don't really know what's happened for the, the baby salmons or other migratory fish when, when they are going back to the sea. Um, I'm I, I would like to say that for, for Normandy, yeah, because there is a good example uh, somewhere else. And we need to evaluate more often the success of the river restoration project, because um, in Normandy we have like yeah, 20 or 30 projects per year, but we are not doing a monitoring on each of them, and I think it is really important to do this. Thank you. Um.